foggy. And I was reminded of a breath technique that I wanted to share with you guys so that you can be energized, you can do it from bed, you don't have to even get up to be able to do it. It's called Breath of Fire. You may have heard it before. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, so it's a passive inhale and a forced exhale. So if I can zoom out um, and I'll put my all the way out and you'll notice that you can breathe out just a little bit more than you really think that you can. And once you get there, inhale just a little bit and it's a forced exhale and then you'll naturally inhale. And you'll notice that I'm tightening my abs quite a bit. My diaphragm is working really hard. So again, it's a forced exhale and a passive inhale. Usually I do this out of my nose like this, but you can also do it out of your mouth. And the reason why I thought about it in kickboxing is because it tightens your abs so when you do that, you can also do a motion. So if it's a, like a jab or a punch, you could go. And you'll notice that your punch is a lot stronger. If you're sitting with a straight spine, you can do something with your arms that will also tone your arms, where you're gonna inhale up and exhale and pull down hard like this. I would do it with both arms if I had both arms right now. Um, and I'm exaggerating, I'm trying to breathe really hard right now so you guys can hear it really well, but you don't have to go as fast as this. This is kind of an advanced breath technique if you go really fast, but you can go as slow as this even. And then once you start feeling good about it and getting better at it, you can go really fast. So that's all it is. And you'll notice if you do it for like, if you've never done it before, maybe 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. If you've done it before, try it for a minute. Go as long as you feel good. And then take a moment, close your eyes, and check in with your body and notice how much different your energy feels. You're creating this breath. The ones that I was focusing on today is it's energizing. At any point in time, anywhere you are, if you're feeling a little laggy, you can do this for like a minute. It really increases your spunk. Um, it replaces your, your air, so you're getting fresh air in there um, and breathing really forcefully, exchanging the air that you have to be fresh and new. Um, it increases your circulation. It might be good for respiratory issues and it also tones your abs because it's, it's like doing an, an ab exercise, a constant ab exercise, and if you guys do that for a while, you'll start to feel that burn. Um, the only reasons why I would not use this is if you have acute anxiety or you've been having like panic attacks recently, this is similar to hyperventilating, so it might bring on one of those. If that's the case for you lately, don't do this breath, try something different. Um, if you're pregnant, don't use it. If it feels painful because maybe you have a, a cardiac issue or a respiratory problem or a hernia or a spinal disease, don't do it. If it feels painful, don't do it. That's different than uncomfortable. So this is Sierra Frost from Invitation Wellness and I hope you're energized and use this breath throughout your weekend.